To get started very quickly with Paint and Stick using Cinema 4D and After Effects, go to Plugins, Paint and Stick Auto Setup. In your render settings, make sure Post Effect is on, and uh, under Save, make sure Multipass Save is on. Double check that Paint and Stick is here as a Post Effect, then render to the picture viewer. When your render is done, put your Beauty Pass in a comp, and also your Sticky Pass. and your ID pass. It might be a good idea to just double check that your sticky pass lines up with your render. Just turn down the opacity and scrub. In this case, it very clearly does. And also check the ID pass. Once that's set, it's safe to turn the sticky pass and the ID pass off, then create a new solid. On this solid, go to Effect, AE Scripts and AE Plugins, choose Paint and Stick, Choose your frame location, which is the permanent location of your frames and your glue data. Next, in the sticky pass slot, select the sticky pass. And in the ID pass slot, select the ID pass. Show the brush palette. Grab any brush. And add paint to your scene. Then press the stick button. The paint is now stuck. If you want to delete this stuck paint, press the Delete Stuck Paint button. If you want to add a stencil to your scene, you can do so by dragging in a layer and placing it where you want to be stenciled. You can also do this with text layers and with shape layers. Once you have the images you would like to stencil, solo them, because Paint and Stick stencils by doing a screen capture. Select Paint and Stick, even though its visibility is turned off, and hold down Shift, and this will bring up this option to Capture Screen as Paint, then click. From here, if I solo Paint and Stick and hide those layers that I stenciled, you can see it did a screen capture, making an exact copy of the paint that was on the screen at the time that I did the screen capture. So just to drive this point home, I'm going to delete these layers. And if you take a look, there's a new paint keyframe here with this paint on it. And to stick this, I can use the stick button. And there's the result. Also, you can blend this in using different transfer modes. If you want to selectively remove paint, we have this tool here, the Erase Stick Brush. And you can use it to erase paint. However, keep in mind you should try to never use this tool. The reason is that it's not actually deleting any of the paint that's there, it's just creating an invisible mat over paint that already exists. So every time you use the erase stick tool, you're actually adding more paint without actually deleting any of the paints underneath it. So try to only use this tool in a desperate situation where you just need to clean up something tiny. Otherwise, it's best to go back to the image that you originally stenciled and stuck, make your changes to it, erase what you need to erase, and then restick that again. That's all you need to get started sticking paint and painting stick with Cinema 4D and After Effects. Check out the website for more info.